Warm welcomes. You join me here at North Woolwich to do the Orbital Super Loop Express Challenge in the fastest time. And here is how I'm going to explain it to you. Now, this challenge involves me going around all the seven orbital loopy buses, starting from the SL2, working our way up and down to the SL3. The rules as follows. Number one, film yourself from start to finish. Put a bit of laps between routes to not miscount. Film a bit of the route visual. Don't use any other modes of transports, otherwise that is cheating and the challenge is disqualified. And most importantly, do not curtail. Although technically, sort of, you could do a full lap of the whole super loop. But the River Thames is too cold and dirty to swim in at the time being. It took Jeff Marshall a full nine hours to go around the whole super loop. But he started around Thamesmead and he ended it right here. He went clockwise. But today, I'm going to go anti-clockwise to see if it's faster. And this is only for science. Another option is the Woolwich Tunnel. Although, Although it takes, takes long, long and plus, plus I, can't I can't be bothered. Be bothered. City Airport. Isn't that the place where Jay Fulton said for um, idiots and numbskulls or something? Is that an SL2 Super Loop only bus stop there? Look at it! So, the SL2 took 49 minutes and 6 seconds. I just need to wait for the SL1 and then the real stuff happens. <laughs> right. Right, now is the time to get the SL1. I could have just got off at Street the Bell to get the SL1 from here. But then again, you don't get bonus points for that. Oh, it's the 34. Oh, you know, it's the SL1's right behind it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the most exciting part of the SL1. And I'm so ecstatic about it. I'm seen a bus do anything like the SL1. Jesus, look how high we are. Here we go again. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I still can't get over to this day it does this. <laughs> But it makes sense because it's an express route. <laughs> oh my god, you can see everything. 
everything. Oh, you can even see Tottenham Hotspur over there. Uh, let's not talk about it. You can see the other SO1 that's adjacent to, us, to each other. I like that. Right. I've got that lapped. It's still raining, unfortunately, but fortunately, this took shorter and this was actually proven quicker than the SL2. Right, all I need to do is, um, I need to go back to the starting position of the SL10, which is the next route I'm getting. Are you joking? What, are you joking? It's six minutes! Wait, what's here? Oh, there's the bus driver. He's just chilling. A few moments later. Bus. 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 Now on an electric bus. The problem that will scar me to this day is why did they remove the middle seat at the back? I've also noticed that there's no USB plugs at the very front of the bus. Oh, I see a super lift there. Hmm. Harrow bus station. God, they've made the I bus even louder on these buses. After the SL10, and I'm here for the SL9. Also, can I mention that I've not been on the SL9 before for two reasons: a, because they're rip-off limited stop routes, and b, I've already explained why on the SL10 video. And I decided not to do SL9 and SL7 and SL6 because they're all just rip-off limited stop routes.
just noticed this is going to be one hectic route because this goes to Heathrow and keep in mind Heathrow is the busiest airport in London. The window keeps steaming up so quickly. Is this the Yeeding White Heart roundabout? Oh, there's the White Heart roundabout. There's a roundabout in a roundabout. What? I mean, I was gonna get off at Hayes the Grapes to get on the SL8, but then again, by doing so, it's gonna take a lot of time. Now's my chance. Yes, yes. Back at the front seat, baby. <laughs> Oh great, it's even worse. Oh look at that, the 140. I think that's the final bus stop. It's already 9 o'clock and we're almost at Heathrow Central. Thank you, driver. Oh my God. We've actually made it in Heathrow. Oh my God. We've actually made it into Heathrow. What? What? Considering that I've never used the SL9 before, I've got to say, it's actually, a, it's actually a good route. I was actually surprised it wasn't packed today. It's a bit pointless expressing my thoughts on the SL9, considering that it's already Route X140. Now we just need to wait. Oh God. Oh, I know what's coming next. Oh God. The SL7. We have to wait for that. I'm already regretting this now. Oh, it's got some luggage racks here. And the, over there. Oh, hello there. Uh, I've been told this is the longest route in London. It's uh, I've never been in it before, but it's a, Never have I. It's a long one. I know this used to be called X26 mm. until the Superloop came. That's just the window wipers. That's making the squeaky noise. Fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Oh my god, look at the roadworks. That yeah. looks awful. Yeah. 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 <sighs> that alone took 10 minutes. <laughs> We're only on stop, stop one. one. <laughs> so how far is Hatton Cross to um, from Teddington? So on Google Maps, it's a... Oh God. <laughs> God's sake. Oh, days. See that, but it's an SL7 going to Heathrow Central. Great, even the iBus is lost again. K 
Kingston. Really? We're actually going all the way to Kingston. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, lovely meeting you too. See Make ya. sure you all subscribe. <laughs> yes, you heard him. Subscribe to my channel. I wonder, how long did I take? 30 minutes! 30 minutes to get all the way to Kingston. Man, that would have been the entire SL1 route by now. God, it's baking hot here. Let me just take this off. Yeah. Oh, what's up? You're wondering how I got this shirt? I've got merch, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, kids, that's right. I have merch after a confirmed poll from YouTube. It's a reality. But what exactly can you do with it? You could freeze it. You can play fetch with it. Fetch. You can show it off to your friends! Guys, look at the merch that I've got right here! Or you can simply just wear it. Yeah. Click the link below and it will take you to my merchandise! You can even get my face on my shirt! Add to basket and then deliver. It may take 10 working days or more. I don't know. I, I, guys, look, I don't run the delivery process. Sorry. And best believe it's here. So be sure to click the link down in the description. And yes, this is the reason why this video took so long. Anyways, back to the video. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. <gasps> East Croydon. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're finally here. OMG. If the SL7 goes to West Croydon and the SL5 starts at Croydon Town Centre. Oh my god. That means I have to make a runner for it. And it's not that I can use the tram anyways, because that's forbidden in this challenge. Right, I need to make a run up. Oh my god. Oh my god. The SL7 alone took 1 hour, 32 minutes and 50 seconds. That's like two full super loot routes, like the SL1 and the SL10. Here it is. Thank you very much. God, I should be happy that I'm blessed with the SL5.
Bromley North Station. And I can feel it that we're going to beat Jeff Marshall's time. Thank you, driver! Oh! Alright! That's a freeze right behind me! I need to get it! Right! There it is! It all comes down to one. Here we go. For the seventh and final time. Now, just for the record, we started on route SL2 at 6 a.m. in the morning. Here are all the times for all the routes. Anyways, back to the final, final route. Thanks. These buses still don't have USBs yet. What a disappointment. Because I'm probably going to need it right now. on the SO3? Oh my god, oh god, this first day of the SO3 really did not go well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine you're just waiting there. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at least this one's faster than the one on the first day. You know what? I take back what I said. Are we actually meant to go through here? Off to Abbeywood and Thamesmead we go! This is it. Here we go. The final bus stop. And I've officially completed the whole Super Loop challenge. Whew. Yes! Yes! I did it! I did it! Yes! Yes! I did it! I finally did the Super Leap Challenge! Woo! I started all the way from the SL2 and worked my way around to the SL3. I did it! I finally did it. You may be confused right now, but I'm celebrating because I did the entire Super Loop Challenge. I started all the way from the SL2 and I jotted my way down here. Yeah. I did it. Ha! Take that, Jeff Marshall! I just proved everybody wrong. I started around six o'clock in the morning and I finished around 12.55. So basically, I spent six hours and 55 minutes elapsed. So until then, I'm officially the world record holder! Yes! I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh yes, I did it, I did it. And that's a wrap. See you guys later. <laughs>